The new Attorney General and Minister of Justice, Mohamed Lamin Terawali, ESQ, and the new Solicitor General, Robert Bauma Kwa, ESQ, have subscribed to the oath of office before His Excellency President Dr. Julius Marabiu during a short ceremony. Section 57 of the Constitution of Sierra Leone provides for both public officers to make a public commitment to the duties, responsibility, and obligation associated with holding public office. Speaking on behalf of his colleague, lawyer Tagawali said he was happy and inspired by the confidence bestowed upon him by His Excellency President Dr. Julius Marabiu to serve in short a distinguished position had that he had accepted the appointment as the 13th Attorney General and Minister of Justice of Sierra Leone. His Excellency, I'm pleased to assure you that I stand on a solid rock of determination and on much optimism in the execution of my duties. I shall do my utmost best to justify this trust by holding the ideals of honor and integrity of this office. Together with other senior colleagues and working staff, we shall be committed to justice delivery across Sierra Leone, upholding the rule of law and protection of citizens' human rights. Mr. President, sir, let it be known that by my appointment, history has been recorded as the first president to have appointed the youngest Attorney General and Minister of Justice. <laughs> He assured that he was standing on a solid rock of determination and on much optimism in the discharge of his duties, saying that he will do his utmost best to justify his appointment by holding the idea of honor and integrity of the office. As a barrister and solicitor of the High Court of Sierra Leone, I've gained wealth of legal experiences during during my over 20 years in legal profession. Prior to my appointment, I've served as a Solicitor General of the Republic of Sierra Leone as the principal assistant to the Attorney General and Minister of Justice. Also, I've, had been, um, I've been opportune to serve as Solicitor General to esteem Attorney General, Attorney General whose principles gave me a solid foundation and together with my strong work ethics, better equipped my time at the Office of the Solicitor General. With that, and with the support of my honest, hardworking and experienced colleagues and staff at the Office of the, at the Officers Department, I assure you all, all our unwavering commitment to deliver in what we've been tasked to do. In a brief statement, His Excellency President Dr. Julius Marabiu congratulated the new Minister and Solicitor General, noting that the task ahead was enormous and difficult, but was also pivotal to the government's day-to-day -day running of the state. Good governance and supremacy of the law are important, and we want to operate within the confines of the law. I look up to you and to advise the government and myself as we run the affairs of the state. I congratulate you both as I expect the best legal advice from you and your team. You can always rely on me too, not for legal advice, but public advice, he concluded. Um, let me hasten to congratulate you the new Attorney General and Minister of Justice and also the Solicitor General. Yours is a task well known to you because you've been the principal advisor and the professional head of that institution. It is no mean task and it, it is a task that is pivotal for us as a government as we try to run the affairs of the state. Good governance, supremacy of the law is important, and we want to operate within the confines of the law. I look up to you to advise government and myself as we go on with the administration of the state. I congratulate you both 
and expect the best legal advice from you and your team. You have a battery of lawyers in that office, and if you need more, we can give you more. We are a rule of law nation, and we need the best from you. We want to be proud. For Star TV News, George Elliott Sam reporting.